Hey everyone, it's Story here, and this is RP Weekly. So welcome to episode 34, and we're going to jump right in with... Tasks Weekly is on their 27th task, which is Cuba. And in case you are searching for a Cuban face claim, do not worry, because the post that is linked in the description also includes a uh, master list of Cuban face claims. And finally, for RP Trends, I've been noticing that a lot more uh, new RPs are opening up. Uh, it was kind of weird because there was a period of time where there just didn't seem to be a lot of new ones appearing, and now all of a sudden, there's a ton. They're just everywhere. So first I have online dating roleplay. Um, it could be similar to like a soulmate RP or a town roleplay where people match up using uh, apps like Tinder or, god there's so many, or like OkCupid, um, and it would be not only would it be easy to come up with events, um, but it would be pretty cool to see characters that are matched up. Um, you can throw in like blind dates in there too. Uh, so there's a lot of possibilities with this one. Also, it's kind of hilarious. So I'm going to give this four corgis. So this next one I actually got from a Tumblr post that I read at one point recently, uh, but conspiracies. Imagine all the conspiracies in one role play and the chaos that would ensue, the hilarity, but also a lot of angst could happen. So conspiracy roleplays, I will give three corgis. So first up, I have Isabella Gomez, who is an actress known from Modern Family and One Day at a Time. And secondly, I have Madeline Madden, who is known from Gimsy and The Hoarders. Broken Fantasy RPG, this is a supernatural roleplay that is set in the year 2024. And virtual reality games have become really popular now, um, except a big glitch starts happening. The glitch is that if you die in the game, you die in real life. It was very difficult to just stop myself right there from making a Stay Alive reference. So this roleplay is inspired by Sword Art Online and also the book Air Apparent. They have a whole separate navigation just for video game information and how it would translate into an RP form. And they also have a monsters page that gives you a list of the specific monsters and creatures that you will encounter up to certain levels. And if you're wondering what kind of character you want to take, don't worry, they have a species list page, which is similar to, you know, when you go into a game, RPG game, and you want to create a character, they give you a list of the species and what their strengths and weaknesses are and all that information. Di Verona, the RPG, this is a gang roleplay that is focusing on Shakespearean characters. It's set in modern times, and the mobs are obviously Capulet and Montague, uh, but they do have characters from other plays that are, and they're not just Romeo and Juliet characters. So if you're looking for an in-depth roleplay to join, this is definitely one to consider. Ghost HQ, this is a OC Atlas 5x5 roleplay. So it's focused on a group of students who decide that they want to create a YouTube channel about exploring and ghost hunting. So this group decides that they now want to travel across America and visit all the most haunted places. And the locations that they go to visit are actual real life places that are believed to be haunted. So my indie blogs this week are actually all Dragon Age themed because I can. First up I have Feraldin Royalty, who's a Queen Honora role player. Rosalietta, which is a Rosalie Rutherford uh, role player. And then finally for this week I have Inquisition Commander who is a Cullen Rutherford RPer. And the goodie bag this week has a ton of fun stuff in it including a healthcare occupations master list as well as a bunch of gift hunts. Um, and there's something else that I'm forgetting. A writing spies and secret agents guide um, which I think is really cool. So thank you for watching and also thank you to those that sent in some messages. Um, you guys were on and on so I couldn't like post it up online because I wanted to keep it all a surprise as I usually do. Um, so thank you for those messages. As always, if you like RP Weekly, please hit that subscribe button. Seriously appreciate it. So have a great beginning of week, end of week, whatever time zone you're in. My name is Story and I will see you next week on RP Weekly.